Hi. In this video, we will talk about the difference between geom point and geom jitter geometries in ggplot. So let's get started. I'll open a new script. I would import library ggplot and I'll write a simple ggplot command. I would be using the data mpg. Then I'll try to create a simple jump point or a, a point plot or a dot plot and I'll run all the four lines. So we got a basic dot plot. It's different classes of the cars and it's the highway values for each cars. Now you can see there are a lot of dot points but they're all in a straight line. And there might be multiple dot lines behind each individual point. So we don't know how many total points are there. So let, let's try to make some changes to this. One of the changes I can do is I can call a transparency or alpha command there. And you would see that the color has changed. Wherever there are multiple dots, the color has gone a bit darker and where there are less dots behind each dot they are a bit lighter so that gives us some idea about how the the dots are segregated or how the dots are actually placed on on, on the chart let me bring a, a theme so that we can see it a bit more clearly so okay it has gone white so now we can see clearly the the difference. Now I can do one more change and one of the changes would be to bring in the class inside the AES and say I want to color it based on the class. So remember that this is within the AES and I'm saying the color would be dependent on the class. So each class would be colored differently. So if I run this, you can see we get different colors and each color belongs to one particular class. Sounds good, but it doesn't give us much information. And one of the other ways we can get a bit more information out of this is by adding uh, maybe a straight geometry and the geometry can give us maybe the mean value of um, these classes, how the classes are segregated. And to do that, I can simply add another line there saying, I want to plot the statistics summary and I want to, so X equal class and Y equals highway, which is still the same. And the fun or the function I want to use is the mean of the y axis. So if I run it, so we can see that the mean are located for each for each class. Similarly, I can also create a median. Let me color it differently. So I'll call this as color equals red and maybe I can call this as color equals blue. So if I run this from start, we can see the mean and the median being plotted for each of the classes. Now one of the transformations which I can do is instead of calling the jump point, I can simply change jump point as jump jitter and you would see what happens now. You can see that the dots instead of being in a straight line, they are scattered or jittered around 
within the axis it's been jittered around so you can see them much more clearly and it actually gives us you know how busy that particular point is and how many points are there scattered around the point 20 or 18 or similarly you can see that there are very few points up on on this so it makes it a bit more informative what if i try to plot both the plots together i can do that so let me to show you the difference more in a contrasting way let me call this library called library grid extra obviously if you don't have this installed you would have to install it going through the packages command and install the grid extra package once you install it you have to run it so that it the the, the packet gets loaded into the memory and the commands are available so one of the commands which i can run is so i can run this command grid extra grid arrange or i can simply omit it i can do it like this grid arrange pl1 and pl2 and i want to plot both the plots in one single row now only thing is that my plot is actually called pl and this is also called pl so let me call this plot as pl1 let me call this plot as pl2 so if i run it this is my plot p1 and this is my plot p2 and if i run this i would be able to see both the plots side by side and now can you can see the difference between both the plots so this plot gives more information or makes it a bit more clearer compared to the simple chart so this is jump point and this is jump jitter thanks for watching this video and i'll see you in the next video Thank you.